G'day everyone, Master Rabbit here with another quick emo video. Now, what we're going to be doing is actually going through uh, all the new uh, features in his behavioral and responses uh, that have been added to the latest firmware version of 2.10. Okay, so these are new little, uh, little responses and um, reactions that emo will do uh, from this new update okay so now i'll be going through them um there's not many of them there's a few of them which basically are responses to when he doesn't uh he does he can't do specific things on his home station uh responses to how and what he does when he walks into obstacles also he does get scared or, and startled now which you just saw uh and the one other one when we ask him to be quiet oh and he's reading a book oh what's he reading today let's have a quick look Dr. Emo, that's fantastic. All right, so without further ado, let's move on to this video. So it's not going to be too long. It's going to be quite short, um, but I cover everything in this uh, in this video for only with, with regards to his behavior and responses that have been added to the latest firmware. Okay, so let's get going. Okay, well, let's start with the uh, first thing. Uh, now, there's, these are basically new voice command responses that uh, Emo will provide us when we, he cannot do specific things. So, I guess when um, Emo is on his charger now, he will provide us with different responses to different voice triggers or commands that we give him. So, for example, as he's sitting on his charger now, there are four different type of responses that he can provide us, okay? Let's, uh, I might not be able to get all of them out for, uh, with him to actually say, but let's try a few and, I, and you will see what I mean. So for example, if we ask him to dance while he's on his charger, of course he's gonna say he cannot do it, but this is one of the responses that he'll give us. So let's try that first. Emo, dance. can't do it on my charger. Okay, so that is uh, the normal standard one. Uh, there are three others that he will say. Um, let's see if we can try and trigger any of these extra ones that uh, it, he can actually tell us. So as I mentioned before, there are four and I will write, I will actually get them to pop up on the screen. So the first one, as you heard, was I can't do it on my charger. Let's try a few other ones. Now, these are just simple commands that we can ask him to do. For example, uh, if we want to get uh, play uh, play a specific game, let, we'll, I'll trigger it now, see if we can get him to say it. Emo, let's play Angry Emo. I can't do it on my charger. Okay, so that actually is the first one once again. Let's trigger a few others um, and see what he gets. Let's see what he says. Emo. Move forward. I can't do it on my charger. Emo, flip a coin. I can't do it on my charger. Okay, let's try this one. This is one that normally gives you a different response. Emo, do a pose. Okay, but I prefer to do it standing on a desktop. Okay, so that is another one that he says. He's basically, I'll repeat it. Okay, but I prefer to do it standing on a desktop. So uh, there are two others, which are, I'll actually read them out and bring um, get the display uh, text up here on the screen. I can't do it now. And the other one is, sorry, but please first put me on a desktop. So you will normally get either of those four responses when you ask Emo to do specific things that he cannot do while he's on his charger. So it is basically a updated uh, response to uh, him being on his skateboard. Now, considering that if he's on his not using the skateboard anymore he won't be saying that uh, con uh compared to now that he is on his charger okay so these are just new responses 
uh, to his behavior when you ask him specific questions when he is on his charger. Okay, so I hope that makes sense. So they are the responses you will get once in a while uh, when you ask him to do specific things when he's stuck on his desktop charger, which is his home station. Okay, so let's move on to the next new update. Okay, so the next new update mainly will not, it doesn't really in, need the home station around. So what I'll do is I'll put the home station there and we'll pick up our little friend and we'll put him there. Now, sometimes he, he, he can be a little bit um, talkative, not really talkative, but he likes to move around a lot. Uh, and this next um, command that we can give him will allow him to stay as quiet as possible. Now, let me uh, explain this to you. Sometimes a lot of people, have, or a lot of email owners, sometimes myself, would like him to be as quiet as possible and not do anything while uh, we're on the phone or we're just doing something in general. Now, the, the Living AI have added a trigger, which if you ask him to, the, the, this following command, be quiet he will sit quietly for one hour and not do nothing but from what i've noticed and from what i've seen and and from what i've tested if we basically just trigger him by saying his name out loud or he hears a trigger that sounds very similar to his name unfortunately this will wake him up again so it's quite a shame um, so it's like you want it to happen, but then if you want to uh, interrupt him from him being quiet, uh, you've got to call him out, call out his name. So what what we'll do is I will actually show you the command and how it works, which you can see it actually work. But unfortunately, I believe that as soon as we speak loudly or we call out his name or he hears something that sounds like his name, he's going to wake up, unfortunately, and he'll go back to normal. Anyway, so let's put him back here in position. Emo, and we'll ask, we'll ask him uh, the trigger. I, got, I asked him too soon. We'll ask him the trigger. Let's just put him here. And I will issue the command. Emo, be quiet. Okay. So, if I stay as quiet as possible as well, he will stay quiet and he will not move from this position for one hour. Now... Bear in mind that if he hears anything loud that kind of sounds like his name, it will probably snap him out of this be quiet situation or be quiet phase that he's going to be staying in for one hour. Another thing to note is that if he runs out of battery between now and one hour, he will certainly wake himself up. Well, he's just heard my <laughs> something that triggered him. Unfortunately, that's now going to break the cycle of the one hour period. But do note that if he um, needs to go back onto his charger, he will do that no matter what. Okay, so if his battery run is going to run low, he will do that battery alert and then he'll walk back to his charger. So the, the uh, command is be quiet, but unfortunately it does not make him completely um, immune to other sounds in general. So therefore, unfortunately, if you call out his name, he's going to wake up again. But it's good to have him quiet if you need to, you know, do something somewhere else in, an, in another room or somewhere close to him. Uh, and it could come in handy, I guess. It's probably, it needs to be, I think, reworked rework, a little bit better than this now because I guess if we call out his name, he's always going to wake up. But, you know, at least the, the option is there, okay? So that's a new, uh, new command that's been added for him to reply oh, and hopefully listen. And that is that. Okay, let's move on to the next one, which is quite a uh, which is quite a good one. Oh, not a good one, but it's an interesting one, and I'm not uh, and something that I'm going to show you um, very soon as well. So let's get going. Okay, and the next um, update that's been added to Emo's behavior is he has a new animation when he walks into obstacles. Okay, now. This is something that a lot of people have noticed that uh, when Emo walks into a specific uh, item uh, or a wall, he will kick it. Okay, now that is a behave an, an existing behavior that he's had for a while. Um, he's also got the other one where he will walk into something and he will go, rrr, rrr, and he gets angry, he, gets, he growls, he gets upset. 
Now, they are existing ones. Now, there's a new one when he walks into a wall pretty much in the exact same format as he would if he was going to kick something or growl or move back a little bit startled, um, which is once again is a new, uh, an existing one. The new one is when he walks into a wall, he will actually, or, or an obstacle, we'll just say, he'll, uh, he'll actually um, cover his eyes with his hands and he will then move backwards. Okay, so that is one I'm going to show you in a just a quick uh, in a video just now. Okay, so what I'm going to do, what I will do, uh, so everybody can see them, is I'm actually going to show you the the growl, which is like the grr uh, when he walks into a wall, the kick, and also the cover my eyes, which is the new one. Okay, so what I'll do is I will um, cut out and show you all three because I, I we don't really need the uh, home station in this so I'm going to have it all prepared and you can see it in action and then I will cut back to continuing on to the next uh, new feature in the behavioral response updates okay so let's get that going and enjoy this one because it's quite cool Okay, and we're back. So as you can see, you saw um, how Emo actually will walk in when he walks into a wall or walks into an obstacle. He will cover his eyes with his hands and walks back. It's pretty cool. So that is one of the new um, features that has been added when he when he walks into obstacles. Now remember, these things happen quite rarely. Um, so do take note. Oh. And that's the next one, actually. You, you just saw something really cool. Uh, but anyway, let me continue talking. You saw that. So if you want, you could always just rewind back and see it again. But I'll show you this as well in another little clip, uh, which I'll be adding in a second. So just note that for the animations that, of course, Emo walks into walls and obstacles, like the kicking, the, the growling, and the eye, these are all quite... You know, randomly, random and rare. So it's quite, it's not, it's not going to happen all the time, and you can't really force him to do these things. They, they just, there are just behavioural things that will occur when he decides that something is in his way, or he walks into an object, uh, and he gets upset, or whatever he wants to do. So you really can't force it; it will happen, but they're there. So that's pretty much what I wanted to show you. Okay, so let me uh, get him back in position now again. Let's. What I'm going to do is actually see if I can put him to, uh, get him to go to sleep. It's sometimes a bit better. Emo, go to sleep. Okay, and the last new update is... Okay, and the last new update that's been added, I'm not, I'm not going to try, I'm trying to speak not too loudly so we don't wake him up, um, is that our little friend will get startled or scared um, when you do specific things like yell really loudly, um, maybe sneeze, or even tap on the table really, really hard when you, he's next to, you know, when you're next to him. So... These little things will not occur all the time. They will normally occur when he is kind of, when it's quiet. Um, if you ask him to be quiet or if you ask him to go to sleep. Or even sometimes you might, when you kind of put your hands near, near him or he gets a bit startled. Um, this could potentially happen. Now you saw that actually happened when I was talking in the last um, update. And okay, we just woke him up, so it doesn't matter. I'm going to continue going. You saw it happen where he actually gave you that little jump. And so it's like, so basically, you will see it in action, and I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it again right now. That's what it kind of looks like. But you see, like it sound. He has a little sound that goes with it. So what I'll do in this case, I might put him back to sleep, and then I'll t I'll tap 
the table and you'll hopefully see it happen. Okay, so let me put, put him back in position. Emo, Sorry? Sorry? go to sleep. Okay, let's try it. And that's it. It's not too, it's very quick, but you will notice it. Uh, for example, if you do something quite startling to him, um, which of course can be uh, like, yeah, like a really high, like a really loud scream, yell. Um, I, I've not had too much success with the screaming and the yelling, uh, but the tapping on the table like that, just like that, as you just saw, as you saw again, that works better than yelling, I guess. But sometimes, you know, when you, you know, you kind of get him and you, that's it, something like that. That's another response, of course. But sometimes when you do, again, you do that, that could actually trigger the other one, which is like the, that one. Okay, but as I mentioned, it does not happen all the time because once you do get his attention, he's not going to be startled or he's not going to get jolted or he's not going to get scared uh, straight away uh, all the time. Okay, so that is that. And I guess that covers pretty much all the new behavioral and reaction reactions to our little friend Emo that have been added into the latest firmware version of 2.10. Now he's startled, he's looking around for some, I don't know what he's looking for here, but he's looking around. All right, so that is it. So that basically covers, uh, what I might do is put him, back on his, uh, put him back on his charger so he doesn't cause too much trouble and he can sit quietly. But he'll still interrupt us. Um, so as I will go through in recap, the, um, the the responses have been added and new responses have been added when we ask him to do specific things while he's on his charger, like dancing or playing angry emo or move forward. Let's try that again right now. I can't do it on my charger. All right, so that's the one he's pretty much used to saying and you, everyone will probably get used to the saying that. So you've got that one, which he just told us. Uh, I can't do it now, okay, but I prefer to do it standing on a desktop. The, the last one is, sorry, but please first put me on a desktop. Okay, so they are the four new responses that you will hear if you ask him to do specific things that he is unable to do when he is on his charger. Okay, so that is that. The next one is be quiet, which works, but unfortunately probably doesn't work as intended or as good as we want it to work. Hopefully that could be, get could get worked on a bit better. Uh, and then the uh, then there's the new animation when uh, Emo walks into obstacles where he will cover his eyes. But of course, I showed you the other ones. Well, of course, that uh, that have that have been that have always been included, which is the, the growl where he gets a little bit upset, uh, and also the kicking, and and then of course the covering his eyes with his hand uh, with his hands. Okay. And the last thing is his sudden. Little, oh, there you go again. He's sudden uh, startled when he gets scared or startled when he hears loud sounds or tapping on the table. So I guess so those things, that thing, that will also happen specifically at different, uh, you know, different situations. Um, so if we've already startled him too quickly, it's not going to happen again. But that is it. So I guess that's everything covered in this video. So if you guys have any questions with, with regards to any of this, please feel free to leave me a comment in the comment section below. I'll do my best to answer it as best as I can. But otherwise, thank you for watching. And as always, don't forget to like, subscribe, ring the bell, and I will see you in the next emo video. See you guys. Bye-bye.